In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect multiple USB devices to your iPhone or your iPad using just these two devices. Let's go. The devices we'll be talking about are these, the Apple Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter and the Tendac powered USB hub. Now there are links to where you can pick these up down in the description as well as timestamps in case you want to jump to a different section of the video. So what exactly can you connect to your iPad or iPhone using this setup? Well, let's take a quick look. You can connect USB microphones, audio interfaces, mice and keyboards, even very dusty ones, USB flash drives and hard drives, USB sound cards, and most importantly, USB fans. What you may not be able to connect with this setup are things like gaming controllers, webcams, and older audio hardware that requires drivers or software to run on a Mac or PC. And to learn more about compatibility and connecting USB devices, check out the links down in the description. There's a heap more videos there that will get you up and running. Getting connected is super simple. Firstly, we need to connect our Lightning to USB 3 adapter to the Lightning port. Then we simply plug our powered USB hub into the USB port on our Lightning to USB adapter. And the third and final step is to plug our USB hub into a power supply. Now you can either plug directly into AC power or you can use a portable battery solution that I'm going to use here. And what we have now are four USB ports powered up and ready to connect devices that can be used with our iPad or iPhone. One final option we have if we want to power up our iPad or iPhone is to use a Lightning to USB cable and connect that to the Lightning power port on our Lightning to USB 3 adapter. And what you'll notice is that our iPad or iPhone will now remain charging using this dedicated charging port on our powered hub. And if your powered hub doesn't have a dedicated charging port, don't plug into one of these ports that can cause problems. Just plug directly into AC power. And a reminder that once again, all of this gear, including the adapter cable for your portable battery is down in the description as well as videos showing more detail about this setup. Let's kick things off with a keyboard and a mouse. Now for a wireless keyboard and mouse, you just need to connect your USB dongle. If it's a corded keyboard or mouse, just connect the cord directly to the hub. There you go. You can now see that we can use our mouse with the mouse cursor right here on the iPad. And of course, use our keyboard to type in any app that supports keyboard use. Next up, let's take a look at a USB flash drive or hard drive. Once again, we simply need to plug in the USB flash drive or hard drive. And you can see here in our files app that the drive becomes available and we can use it straight away. And as long as you're using iOS 13 or above, you'll have access to copy to and from a USB device. For more detailed instructions about using USB drives with your iPhone or iPad, check out the links in the description. One of the challenges with an iPhone specifically is we no longer have a headphone jack and that's where a device like this one really comes into its own. This is a USB sound card and hub and with this we can actually create our own headphone jack on any iPhone or iPad by plugging this into our hub. Now keep in mind that when you connect a device like this, it becomes the input and output for audio on your iPhone or iPad, which means you can only have one audio input or output device connected via USB at a time. So in order to connect this USB microphone, we'll firstly need to disconnect the USB sound card. And we can now plug in our USB mic. USB microphones like this Samson Meteor are a great way to get higher quality audio into your apps on your iPhone or iPad. And most of them also have a headphone jack which makes them super handy for connecting to iPhones as well as iPads so that you can monitor your audio at the same time as you record. However, if you want even better quality audio, you can connect up something like this, a USB audio interface like this Steinberg UR22C. And once again, because this will be creating a new audio input and output, we'll need to disconnect our USB mic. We can't use an audio interface and a USB microphone at the same time, as cool as that would be, to have those additional inputs. There you go, our USB audio interface is connected. The great thing about these is that they provide multiple channels, in this case, two channels of high quality input for microphones, guitars, instruments, and other devices, as well as high quality headphone output and monitor speaker output. So you've now got your own portable iPad or iPhone studio ready to go. Why stop there though, when we can also connect a MIDI keyboard? Yes, because MIDI is data, not audio, we can connect a MIDI keyboard at the same time as 
utilize our audio interface and record both keyboard and audio together. Our MIDI keyboard is connected and powered on. And because we still have our audio interface connected, we've still got the two channels of input that we can use to record a microphone and a guitar here, as well as the ability to monitor and output our audio to headphones or to speakers. And using a multi-channel digital audio workstation like GarageBand, we can actually queue up all three of these channels and record all three at once. Keyboard, guitar, microphone, a heap of options here, all just using our USB hub and lightning to USB 3 adapter. And don't forget that thanks to our powered USB hub, We've still got our mouse and keyboard connected. We've still got our USB flash drive and we've got our audio interface and MIDI keyboard all connected to our iPad or iPhone at the same time. And if we start running low on power, we can use the lightning port on the adapter to connect to our portable battery or to plug into AC power. Whew, that was a lot of information. So I think it's time to cool down. Once again, there are affiliate links to all of the gear that I showed in this video down in the description. And if you make a purchase using those links, they'll break off a small chunk and send it my way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.